Hello and welcome to another Captain Form tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an order form. Just go ahead and click on New Form and select the blank form as a template. Give it a nice title so you can easily recognize it later. And also give it a headline so your users know what they're registering for. Let's call it 2016 WordPress uh, Super Event. Okay, great. Put it on the middle and hit save. Okay, great. Now let's add the information our users need to know about the event. So drag a, an HTML block there and select it. You can give it a name if you want, but it's not an absolute necessity. Edit it and start typing any information you think is relevant about the event. We're just gonna say some pretty standard stuff like this is the best WordPress event in 2016. The date of it. Um, let's put okay. I think that should be enough. Hit save. Okay, let's customize the text a little bit. So edit the HTML block again. And keep in mind that you can change anything about the text, like font, color, uh, font size. You can also add images and any HTML code uh, you want. Hit save. Yeah, that looks better. Now, let's add a Google map to it so people know how, how to reach the event. You will find it under the Advanced tab. Alright, now click on it and hit on Customize Map and just type in your location, for example, Times Square in New York City. New York City and hit Update Map Preview so you are sure it shows the right location, hit save and now let's add the fields that request the information we need from our users actually let's add location here as well and let's make it fit in let's say 12 pixels 12 points, sorry, and hit save. And let's make it a bit bigger. Let's go for 14 points. Yeah, that looks better. Now, let's add the rest of the fields to the form, like name field or email. Let's start with the name field. Okay, rename it if you really want to, and you should also uh, make it required so people don't accidentally skip it. Let's add email, and let's make this one required as well. Okay, now let's add a text area so people can type in any additional information that we may need to know about them or perhaps some special requests do you have any special requests requirements sounds better all right now 
let's add a number of fields so in case they decide to bring out more people to the event well, they can just type in the number of people they're getting or bringing actually okay make this required so you don't so they don't show up with five extra people that you don't know about and let's Modify the label to be on top. Yeah, that looks better. Don't you agree? Okay, let's shorten this field a bit. 300 pixels should do it. And also, let's shorten this one as well. Let's put 150. Okay, we're going to leave the email field as it is because some people have longer emails than others. And, oh, let's also add a phone number field. Okay. That looks good. Now, let's go to settings and notifications. Okay, in this part, you are going to be changing the email you receive when somebody makes a new entry or a new registration. So just type in your email there, the one you want to, notifications to come at. And you can also change the email header and content, uh, for example, from name or from email. We're just going to put from name and... Uh, from reply to email so we can directly reply to the user okay great and now let's put a type in of subject so we know what's it about okay now you have the autoresponder section where you basically uh, this is the email they receive after they uh, fill out the registration form so type in your name at from name and your email at from email. And hit on customize. And now click on create autoresponder. Now give it a name so you can easily recognize it later. And a subject so they know what email they are receiving and where it's coming from. Okay, you also have the option to add any field from your form to the autoresponder. So you can add, for example, the name field, and their name will be automatically filled in when they receive the autoresponder, which is going to make it look a bit more personal and not as standard and as robotic, robotic as it may seem sometimes. On the phone number you provided us. And let's add the phone number field as well. Okay. Type in the rest of the subject, whatever you want, the rest of the message, whatever you want them to see. Click save, and there you have it, your autoresponder. Now click close, and let's set up a thank you message and have them redirected to our homepage or any other page you want. Type in your thank you message there. We have sent you an email, or we have, yeah, that works. Keep in mind that simply typing www.website.com 
won't work it's gonna give you an error which you, you will be seeing in a few seconds and you have a few redirect options um, you can select in the same frame hit save changes and you're gonna see this error okay now you have to type in the HTTP part as well so the link is valid now if you hit save changes again you won't be getting that error there you have it you fully customized your notifications part now let's go ahead and publish our form from the multiple publishing options we're going to be using the short code option all you have to do is copy that short code you see there and go to your WordPress post wherever you want it to wherever you want the form to be we're just going to add a new post we're going to leave the title empty and just copy paste it there hit publish and once you hit publish you can preview changes and see your order form should load any second now and there you have it your registration form is up and running thank you for watching and if you have any questions don't just feel free to email us or contact us on Facebook or Twitter.